All right, guys, this is my second take. My feet are freezing, but welcome back to another video. We try to do this after every year. This is gonna be the second one that we do. This is gonna be all of our best finds throughout this year. 2020 has been crazy um, with COVID and all this other stuff, but I truly believe me and dad definitely made the best out of it. Uh, with some of these videos, you can just see that, you know, we wasn't gonna let it stop us. It's, uh, it's definitely going to be a good video, guys. There's there's great finds in here. There's funny moments of us doing stupid stuff. You know, just having fun. But before we get into that, and I'm sure if Dad was here right now, he'd say it too. He's probably still sleeping. It's like 7 o'clock. Y'all have shown us, like, so much support, and we appreciate it. Like, we haven't came out with a video in a month because we've just been busy with hunting. And somehow we're still getting, like, 500 views a day or something like that. At some times it's even more than that. And uh, that's because you guys are liking, you're sharing, and you're subscribing to the channel. It's really helping us out a lot. Sorry if I seem like I'm cold. I'm actually outside barefoot trying to do an intro. So uh, yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of cold right now. But all right guys, before we get into the video, um, if you could just keep showing us that support, like, share, and even subscribe. It's free, so uh, help blow this channel up, guys. Enjoy. Oh my God, guys. I'm excited. This was my number one bucket lister, and I found it. I cannot believe it. Hang on, let me get you in here. This is unbelievable. Solid 68 on the simplex. Come up here, and guess what I just found? Oh my, I'm shaking like a leaf. That is an eagle breastplate. Something I've been after since I started. I cannot even believe this. I am about ready to do backflips. I just might be doing some backflips as this is Spanish. It still has the lid on the back and everything. Yes, thank you Lord. There it is, field cleaned. I don't know what to do to it. I don't want to mess it up anymore. But there it is, my eagle breastplate. I have been after this for six years. I finally got it. Still got the lid on the back. I don't see any kind of thing for the buckle or anything like that, but right there it is. Unbelievable. Looks like it's gonna be some kind of a, a metal maybe. I haven't cleaned it up yet, but it looks like it's got some pretty good potential. You can see there's an end of it. Let me clean it up and we'll get back with you. All right guys. Here's what it is. I have no idea. I don't know if Jordan can get a close-up shot of it. That's how it's made. I don't know if it's a tie clasp or whatever. Anybody knows? Give us a shout out. I'll see if I can get a little bit better cleaned up for the roundup. This is this is unbelievable, guys. Right here is the hole I just got done digging that metal out of. Now check this out. What the heck is this? It looks like it's got some kind of miniature coins on it. They almost look like little gold coins on it. His medallion or whatever right here and right here. And I came back over with the Equinox and I started ringing up about six inches to the right of his previous hole and I was like, you missed something. And sure enough, this little thing came out of the ground. I have no idea what it is, but it's got some weight to it, and it looks like it's like a little clip almost. Like, like you would- Clip on earring. Yeah, like a clip on earring or something. I don't know, it's still pretty cool. There is something. This is crazy now, I am telling you what. There's one piece. There's another piece. We're on a jewelry spill or something. I have no idea what this might be, but you can see the shiny on it. So I don't know if someone spilt their jewelry box here. Uh, this is crazy. All right, guys. I just got a 67 solid on the simplex. I'm running it in relic mode today. I have one bar on the iron. And it's probably 
ground balancing at about a 63. But anyways, in this hole, I got an awesome, beautiful Civil War button. Oh, look at the gold guild. Oh, it's a New Yorker. It's a New Yorker. New Yorker. New York State Seal button. Look at that bad boy. Great save. So, I picked this rock up out of the way and then my signal changed to a 20. And I was like, man, that's I, that's got good potential. If you look down in the hole right here, I got myself a pretty nice little button right here. It looks like it might have some writing on it. We'll have to maybe clean it up and it's definitely got the shank on the back. Here's another, pretty sure it's a button. I ain't got it out of the hole yet. But it come up about a 67 to a 70 on the simplex. And right here she is. Still got the shank. Oh yes, you can even see all the water marks on the back. Let's give it one quick pants rub. Oh yeah, looky here. That one's gonna clean up beautiful right here. I know I'm gonna jinx myself. I know it's gonna happen, but best signal today. It's probably about seven inches deep, but it's reading like a 31 to 34. Guys, that's reading like an old, old coin. Let's dig in. Let's see what we got here, man. It's gonna be a 10 can because I just, I should have never said it's gonna be a coin, but let's check it out. I did it. Big coin. Big coin, baby. Let's go. Ah. Let's go, man. Check it out. Man, I almost gave up on that. Oh, how nice. I almost gave up on that, man. It was tucked up underneath a big old root. So, I'm going to clean this bad boy up real quick. Another button. You know how I do it. Let's clean it up, give a little rub. It's got a freaking bald eagle. I mean, you talk about a pretty looking eagle too, buddy. Look at this. Don't rub her too much. Don't rub the eagle off of it there, stupid. Dad! Yo, it's got an H on it. I don't know what a H means, if it means a freaking a hero or what, but man, he might've been a hero. Dad, what does an H mean? I bet you this dude was a boss in the in the Civil War. I guarantee it. If he's got an H on it, nobody else. What head? Head commander. That's what it means. Head commander. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Don't rub it off there, stupid moron. You dumb. Oh, I might have done rub the H off. But Dad, go ahead and take a look down in the hole for us real quick. This is one of the first buttons that we have ever found that was an infantry button. Like I said, I already did the pants rub, but check that out, man. It's got a perfect eye on it, guys. This is awesome. This is definitely going in the bed for uh, protection. This is cool find. It's got another freaking eye on it. That's two, two infantry buttons and two feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go another two feet and see if I can't find myself another one. That. Oh man, this is beautiful too. Whenever I pull this out, check how, I mean, beautiful this button is, man. This is, oh my gosh. Oh yes, New York Seal. Look at that. That's a golden, golden one. I'll tell you what, buddy. New York State Seal. I'd wear that to sleep almost. I mean, look at that. There's no blemishes to that, except it's a little dirty. Check this out, right here. Come on in here. See what we got. Look at this. Oh man, she's a beauty. That's silver. Freaking silver. What the heck? Yep. Not silver, just really shiny. Five inches down in the ground. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Roosevelt? Guys, I, I I'm I'm I wanna go ahead and just apologize. I I don't even know what happened. You know, I'm here trying to just be stupid. And I tried to pull a prank on dad, letting him know that, oh yeah, I found silver. Well, that whole last clip where I 
you know, was pretty much humdrum down in the dumps. Turned out, actually, it's silver. I thought if you seen Roosevelt or whoever this is, I guess it's Rosie. I don't know. Sorry. Um, and it's younger than, like, 64. I guess it's silver. Dude, it, this is silver. What the heck? <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Let's take a closer look at this. Check this old boy out. Let's get a close-up up in here. I don't know who does the close-up around here, but go ahead and start it. So I made a deal with myself. Probably not one of the smartest things I've done. I said, if I find silver with this new setup, I'm rocking with the, what am I rocking? The Equinox? Yeah, that's what I'm using. The Equinox 600. I'll attempt the front flip. I don't care. I'll send it. What's the worst that can happen? Let me get a practice roll real quick. Okay. That's all the worst that's going to hurt. That's yeah, not right. too bad. Commit to it, though. my back crack. <laughs> oh, I didn't commit. <laughs> I got halfway through it and thought I couldn't do it. I swear my confidence was there though. I don't know if I can move my neck. <laughs> All right, end it. It wasn't going to hurt that bad. <laughs> It looks like it. Oh man, that is cool. Aww, I want to keep it. We'll keep it. What's inside of it? I don't know. That's awesome. Oh, well I can not find stuff better than golf balls. <laughs> Here, you want to put it in my bag? Yeah. Alright guys, first cool find of the day. It was actually coming up a little sketchy, about four inches down. Uh, it was coming up like an 18, 19, but it also dropped down to like seven or eight. I just found a pair of earrings, guys. Like literally a pair. That's cool. I was expecting to find one, but finding two is just, that's awesome. Here in this hole, might have did what I was trying to do, a success. Check this out, what I'm seeing so far in this hole. You see it down here? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a gold ring. It looks the real deal too. Let's pull it out together here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's got to be gold. Looks like someone's gold wedding band, unfortunately. I hate finding wedding bands. But right there, 52 and higher, I'm notched out. I can hear these low tones. And there we go. First ring, first gold ring with the simplex. Pretty excited. With probably, I don't know, maybe 15 pull tabs, three or four nickels, some cut up aluminum foil digs, I think, I might have my second ring. This is starting to be an unreal day. Memorial day on top of that. You can see it here in the block. Got some roots growing through it even. It was coming up. All right, it was coming up 33 solid. But I don't think it's gonna be gold. Almost looks like it's got a silver plating to it. I can see some shine underneath there. Um, probably like a silver plated ring maybe been here now for probably about four or five hours detecting but this is actually my third ring of the day never in my life have i ever dug that many rings in one day i'm pretty excited about this let's take a look at it together i broke the stone off when i was coming out of the ground that kind of ticked me off there was a stone this stone was connected and this would have been the ring to it. And somewhere there's a stone here, right there. I don't know if that's a mood ring or what it is, but for me, that's a good mood ring because third one of the day. This is my third dig. I had two digs right there that was an old home site piece. But this here, this could be some awesome silver. I'm not real sure just yet. I can see some right in here. 
and it looks like something back here, like some kind of a shield. I don't know if you can see it good in the camera, but this could be something spectacular. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my, oh no. Oh, it's Spanish. It's thinking Spanish. <laughs> oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm not gonna clean this up too much, guys. In the field. Oh my. It looks like it's been somebody drilled it for a, to wear on a necklace. Oh, this could be my best coin ever. And it wasn't, but four inches deep. 82, 83 on the simplex. This is an old coin, fellas. <laughs> I love it. And then this is the backside. It even has some kind of, I don't, I can't read it. His, hispin. This is what it's about right here, guys. Digging an old home site found on Gaia Maps. A lot of people wanted to see him do a front flip, but he said, you know, he's just getting too old for a front flip. He said he's going to at least give you guys a solid A cartwheel. So, back some so you can get me. oh no, we want to get up close, buddy. We want to see it up in action. Here it goes. Ah, uh, you got to put your legs up a little higher, bud. Come on. Not to go any yes, they can. Come on. <laughs> buddy, what was that? That was a tummer salt. <laughs> We want a cartwheel. I'm a 49 year old man, so I'll take what I can get. Last chance. I tell you what, I've seen three year olds do better ones, but <laughs> that's, that's good. Just dug that ring. It ended up being, not being a diamond ring. It ended up being a little kid's ring. I dug it right over there in that area. But I've only walked up to here. You're going to see my path I made and come and turn around. But between that time, here and there, I dug probably six nickels. But down in this hole, I'm seeing something pretty shiny. I'm thinking maybe gold. Gold ring, maybe. This is amazing. I mean, slowing it way down, using that uh, notch out, and using that 5x9 on the AT Pro. This was coming up like a 43, 44. Let's see what we got here. This has got a pretty, looks like a black onyx and some diamonds around it. This is a nice ring here. Very nice. Oh wow, another pretty ring. Look at this one. I'll find out, I'll give you a close up of it here once I get it cleaned up and everything. But anyways, fourth ring in one day. That is a record for me. <sighs> I know a lot of people find a lot more than that, but I don't know if they find it on land as much as they do in the water. So four rings in one day, I will take that any day. Beautiful little ring. Oh, yes. I'm almost positive. That's another gold ring. <laughs> this is crazy. With a couple little things here on the ring. This is just... I, I, I'm speechless. I only, honestly, I am. I'm excited. But anyways, a sixth ring in two days. Of maybe two and a half hours detecting total. Let me see here if I can get it into the sun. Right here's the rim of it. Let's see what it is here. We'll see it together. Oh, yes. That looks like possibly a class ring. Here we go. If it is a class ring though, wow, it'd be a tiny finger. But I'm thinking that's a class ring. Wow, somebody had a tiny little finger. But anyways, I'll get a clean up and uh, we're gonna have to see if we can try to figure out whose this is. Maybe give it back to the person who it is. I think my daughter graduated in 2011, so she just might know this person, but I don't see a name on it. All right, this is kind of cool. Check this snake out. I guess it's a water snake. It's actually got a fish and it's carrying the fish with him. Hold on, baby, that might be a copperhead. Yeah, we was gonna snorkel this too. Right there he goes. Is that a copperhead? 
copperhead baby? I don't know. He had like a diamond shaped head, so it's kind of got me a little scared.